it's Neely here and I have a fun little thing to share with you guys. I got a new gadget that I wanted to tell you guys about. What it is is this Body Media Fit armband and it is a really cool little device. When it came in the mail the other day I took a quick video of the package so that I could show you guys um, before I ripped into it because I was so excited to um, get it, get out my new gadget and play with it. But I wanted to let you guys see the packaging it came in and everything so I'll show you that video right here. It's a calorie counter and it tracks all kinds of other things that your body does day to day. It's similar to a Fitbit that a lot of people have been talking about, but um, apparently it's a lot more accurate because it actually has these sensors on the back and um, it goes on your arm and it measures lots of stuff. Um, it measures motion, heat flux, skin temperature, and galvanic skin re response. And apparently it's very, very accurate. There have been um, the studies done to show that um, it gives accurate information. And I do want to put a little disclaimer out here um, at the beginning that the company actually sent me this for free because of my vlog and so I could review it and share with you guys um, my experience with the Body Media Fit. But you guys know I'm going to be honest with you and tell you exactly what I think about it and um, just give you a good review. So the different things that it helps you track is your calories burned, um, it tracks physical activity, like exercise and just throughout the day, your physical activity. Um, it counts steps taken like a pedometer and it measures your sleep uh, duration and sleep efficiency. That's been really interesting to see. And I'm going to show you the activity manager that's online that um, has all the logs of all the different things. Um, where you can go in and, and track everything and kind of give you a rundown there. As far as using this during the HCG diet, I don't foresee that it's going to be giving me a lot of vital information while I'm on phase two, just because there's a set number of calories you're um, allotted and then you're not really exercising. And so I'm still using it during P2 because it's actually really fun, but um, where I think it will come in the most handy is during phase three and during the whole stabilization period and figuring out how much I need to eat and um, what kind of activity I need to keep up to maintain my weight loss. So I'm really excited to use it in P3 and um, just have that extra information to um, help me succeed. Now, of course, this is not going to replace the hunger scale for me and eating with hunger that I've been talking about a little bit and that we've been learning about here in the HCG community, but I do feel like it will be very interesting to eat with hunger and see how it lines up with what the Body Media Fit is saying that I'm burning as far as calories and different things. Also, it's very helpful actually to see my activity from day to day. And um, just from the last few days that I've been using this, I have realized how inactive I am on the days that I stay home. Like if I'm not going out grocery shopping or um, taking my daughter to events or different things like that, if I'm just home all day doing my stuff at home, I am incredibly inactive and I burn far fewer calories than if I just go to the grocery store. And so that has been really eye-opening and it's interesting because on the days that I'm home all day, typically in the past, those are the days that I would probably eat more than the days that I'm out because when I'm out, I don't have the opportunity to eat um, as much and um, I just don't think about it as much because I'm busy with other things. So that has been very interesting and it's um, helped me to kind of plan how I'm gonna live from this point on and, and knowing that if I'm just home all day um, and not doing any exercise or going out and doing a lot of walking that I really need to think about you know adjusting my food intake because of that. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and switch cameras and I will show you the activity manager 
and kind of give a rundown of all the different things it tracks. All right, so here's the Body Media Fit again, and I'll show you real quick how I um, sync up the information on the armband to the activity manager. Basically, you just popped this, this thing out, and so you got the little armband left, and then you have the little device here, and it has a little micro USB port here, and I have my micro USB cord that it came with, and I'm just gonna plug it in real quick. And so I plugged it in, and then it's it automatically syncs up on the computer there, syncing. And it says it's fully charged. And then here is what it looks like on the dashboard, is what it's called. Um, so you can go in and set your different goals, and I just kind of threw in some goals. You can't go below a thousand calories, so I put... I just did around a thousand, um, even though I'm doing about 500, and that's my calories consumed there. Um, my target calorie burn is 2100, and this will, this shows me how much I've burned so far today. But if I put my mouse over here, it'll tell me your estimated burn for the day is 1978, and that can just give you a good idea of you know where you're headed. And so you can add in exercise if you feel like you should be burning more. And like on the days that I would go grocery shopping, it was up to like 22, 2300. All right, so got the calorie burn target and the actual calories burned here. And then um, calories consumed, that's my goal. And then actual calories consumed. And they have a place where you can log your meals and so you can calorie count the same as my fitness pal or spark people or you know any of those other calorie counters and um you just go to meal logging and then you can search the database and you can save your foods and um you can build up your frequently used foods and i i usually count on my fitness pal or on spark people and so I tried this for a few days too, just, you know, to see how it was and so I could let you guys know. And I really liked it. It was a really um, good database. It seemed like they had a lot of stuff and it was really easy. So that was really cool. But then also, if you're used to counting on a different calorie counter, you can just go to daily estimate. And so if you count on a different counter, then you can come in and bring that number and you just put it in for your daily estimate. And I had already done that for today. My daily estimate, 500 calories, save estimate, and then you can go back to your summary and has the estimated calories consumed. Um, oh, I also wanted to show you under calories burned, there's a little drop down menu here and it can show you just by the time of the day, the different um, times you were the most active and it'll give you an average METS um, for the day. And then down here, it'll show you your calorie balance. My target calorie deficit is 1,000 calories. My actual calorie deficit so far today is 725, so I'm definitely going to meet that 1,000 calorie deficit because I still have half the day and half the night to go, and I'll, I've only had 500. I will have only had 500 calories for the day. So Next is you can put in goals for physical activity. Um, I just have it set at 30 minutes of moderate. There's moderate and intense, I think, moderate and vigorous. Um, and it shows you the times of the day where you had your activity. You can see I've only had one minute of moderate activity today, and I don't even know what that was, probably carrying my daughter around or something. And then down here it has steps taken, um, and I have it set on a very low goal of 5,000 steps, but it's 4.15 p.m. and I've only gone 1,300 uh, steps. And um, so you can see, this is one of the days where I'm just home most of the day, and I really need to make sure I at least get a walk in this evening or something, because that's very, very inactive. The next thing is uh, sleep duration, and there's a drop-down menu here. And it shows, this is my goal, is 8 hours of sleep. I, I, I got 8 hours and 18 minutes of sleep, which is wonderful. And then one interesting thing that I've enjo been enjoying is this um, sleep efficiency number. Um, 
I can tell when I've had not as good sleep, even if I've had a fair amount of it. Um, I was, a couple days ago, I think it was like 83%, and I could definitely feel it, but last night got 96%, which is pretty awesome. And so it says, I was lying down for 8 hours and 40 minutes, but I only slept 8 hours and 18 minutes. And you can see down here with the lighter um, shade of gray, that's just lying down and not actually sleeping. And I did wake up at about 3 o'clock this morning and had to go to the bathroom and then uh, was lying in bed for a while before I um, was able to fall back asleep. Now this thing at 2 a.m., I really don't know what that's about because that's um, white, so it's not even lying down. It's saying that I was up at that point, moving around, and um, I don't remember that. So either I'm walking in my sleep or the armband, you know, didn't stay on my arm correctly at that point or something, but um, yeah, I don't remember getting up at 2 a.m. And then down here is just the weight um, thing. You can add your weight in every day or every week or however often. Um, and then if you drop down here, it shows you your goal. And I had put in my goal, and so it shows the red goal line. And you can see I'm right here, so I'm I'm ahead of goal right now. So that's fantastic. So that's all the basics there on the activity manager. A few other things I wanted to mention. Um, I wasn't sure how it would be having the armband on my arm all the time. Uh, if it would be annoying or uncomfortable, but it is actually very surprisingly comfortable. And that was one of the first things I thought when I put it on. I was like, oh, this is not bad at all. So that's been nice. Um, I was worried about, you know, Velcro and it being itchy or anything, but it I have had no problems. Even sleeping, um, sleeping on, you use it on your left arm. And even sleeping on my left side, I don't hardly even notice it. Um, it's been a couple of days now, and I really don't notice it much at all. So that's been really positive. All right, I'm back to this camera now. Um, so I'll show you again. the. This is how it's connected to the um, computer. And then I just unplug it and pop it right back into the armband. And then I can just put it on my arm. Obviously I, I put it underneath my sleeve, but just goes up and it sits like right, right here. And then my sleeve goes over it and it's, it's not hardly noticeable at all. I mean, if I have a tight shirt on, um, you can kind of see it, but it's not, it's not anything super big and bulky and definitely a hoodie or something like that covers it up. There are different kinds of um, these monitors. The Body Media Fit has some different some different models, and um, the one I have is called Core, and it is one third smaller than their other um, models and the previous ones that they've had. Um, they have they also have one called Link, and it is it's bigger than this one, but it has Bluetooth technology and it can connect to your smartphone, which is really cool. But the one that they sent me was the core, and I'm um, enjoying it and the small size. And because I'm not at work all day or anything, I have access to my computer, so I can just plug it in anytime I want if I want to get a calorie brain. Oh, I was touching, I was touching the um, sensors with my thumb. It thought that I'd put it on, and so when you put it on, it powers up automatically um, because it can tell when your skin is touching it. And I was touching it with my thumb, so it turned on. Um, it'll turn off in just a second because I stopped touching it. So that gives you guys an overview of what the product is and what it does and my um, kind of my first impressions, but I will continue to use it um, through my round and definitely, definitely, definitely through my P3 and we'll let you know how it works out. Um, if it's a good tool for stabilizing and just um, just how it goes for me. I'm really excited to have this handy little tool um, to continue to work towards my goal. So if you guys want to read up on it or get information about um, the Body Media Fit, you can go to bodymedia.com. Um, you can buy everything there. 
Also, I've seen these for sale at Costco.com, although I don't know if that was just a seasonal thing, if they're still available there, but that was the cheapest price that I saw. And then also Amazon.com had a cheap price too. So if you're thinking about getting it, shop around um, and see if you can find a good price. On the website, they run um, between like, I think $179 and $250. Um, the Bluetooth one, um, the Body Media Link, is a little more expensive than this one, the Core. Um, I think it's the cheapest one, I think. They may have a third model, I'm not sure. But so far, I'm having a lot of fun with it, and I just wanted to share that with you guys, and I will be keeping you updated on how it works for me, and my continuing impressions of it, and if I find any um, drawbacks to it or anything like that, I will definitely let you guys know. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.